Sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what's using my life? One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills to pay, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. I would look to my comrades and to those who are crossing this world and those who are training me, and I would draw strength from that. Who am I? I am a champion. I will practice. Go out to the field of battle, and I will move, move, and everything I can do, and I will reach my field of battle at any means at my disposal. And when I get there, I will rise violently. I will grip the heart of my enemies and leave it bleeding on the ground because he cannot stop me. Who am I? I am the champion. To my side, I have comrades, comrades that have been through me through thick and thin, through sacrifice, through blood, through sweat, through tears. Never will I let them fall. Never will I let them down, and I will never leave an enemy behind. Because our opponent does not know my heart. Who am I? I am a champion. No one will deny me. No one will defy me. And no one will tell me who and what I am. It can be. Belief will change my world. It is through cotton, it is through country, it has put man on the moon. And it will carry me through this battle. Who am I? I am a champion. Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand those definitions. I don't understand when things go wrong. I don't understand mistakes. But I do understand this. I understand victory, and I understand never surrendering. No matter how bad things go, my heart, my mind will carry my body and my limbs are through me. Who am I? I am the champion. Today will be that day. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now, right here, in your house and in your home. Who am I? I am the champion. This will remember me. I will not let everybody in being caught. I will define myself. I will write my own praises. And no one will tell me what I can tell me. I will never go out not knowing I've given everything I've got. Because who am I? I am the champion. Who am I? I am the champion. Who am I? I am the champion. See, five years ago, when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action continuously looking for ways to win so what is that something when you got an idea you want to move on you might not have the money you might not have the education you might not have the support or the resources you need what is that something that can keep us going that will enable us to act on our dream what's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream. Here's what I want you to repeat after me, please, with power and conviction. Say, it's possible. 
So all I want you to do when you look at your dream, you say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, it begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory, things they've done, things they've experienced, things they've seen, things that they have observed. What I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience, it. having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your memory. Because whenever you look at where you want to go, I'm wanting to warn you, you will have some conversation back here after you go through the data that you've experienced in life saying you can't do it. And so what you want to begin to do is ignore that inner conversation. No! Well, most people, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens to them, what they do is they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And they can't see the possibility of it being any different. Example, before April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, because it had been tried again and again and again and people had failed, the belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking the four minute barrier, that he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. That was the belief on the planet. It had never been done. But here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Bannister came along and he broke the